Hey Playa, have you ever sat around all by yourself wondering what's the best way to make friends? If you've ever felt scared or anxious about making friends, in this video I'm going to share with you a few tips on how to meet new people and build strong friendships. One thing I want to emphasize here is that building a friendship takes time. You're not just going to instantly meet someone and become best buds. You're going to have to nurture that relationship, get to know that person better, and see how you guys click. Tip number one, find in-school clubs or online communities of people that share the same kind of interests that you do. Look at your school's bulletin board or talk to a counselor to find out which clubs meet every week. And if you're not in school, there's plenty of Facebook groups, Twitter hashtag chats, and Google Plus communities online where people are sharing tons of things that they like and coming together over them. And if you find that you're an anxious person, this may be an easy first step to do because you can sit safely at home and find these online communities to start building those friendships. Or if you don't find any groups that you like, create your own. Start making flyers and post them all over school, create an online Facebook group and people will randomly search for it and come across it. If you create the community, people will start to find it and that's how you can start building friendships. Tip number two, be open to the idea of volunteering. Not only will you meet kind and considerate people, but you'll also be doing a service for so many people in need. There are tons of people volunteering every single day. Ask at your local church, grab your neighborhood's newspaper, or just search online and I can guarantee you could find something in your area where people are giving back and connecting over it. The people you meet there already come from a good place, and plus, volunteering gives you guys something to chat and connect about that maybe you don't have normally. Tip number three, talk to all the people around you. All too often, people get very picky and selective over who they want to talk to. You might only want to talk to the popular kids or the attractive people, but you're failing to forget that there are people all around you and you never know who you could develop a good friendship with. Start conversations with people in the grocery store or waiting in line with you at the post office. Anywhere is a good place to practice your small talk. But not every type of small talk conversation is a good one. In fact, check out my video right here where I explain why small talk is awkward and how to deal with those kinds of situations. Tip number four, smile and make eye contact with people. I know, this tip has been beaten over your head millions of times, but you'd be surprised how many times people forget to pay attention to how others are observing them. People will sometimes sit there thinking, I want them to talk to me, but they're neglecting the fact that their arms are folded, their eyebrows are furrowed, and they're not even looking at them. Openness is the key to establishing a welcoming connection. Sometimes we may not know what to say in the moment, but by being open and listening to others, it'll be a lot easier to turn that person into a friend. And tip number five, be reliable, trustworthy, and a good listener. Part of being a person's friend means that you're willing to help others feel accepted just as much as you want to. Sometimes though, we may fall short about what to talk to them about even though we want to talk to them. That's why I recommend checking out my video right here, five ways to keep a conversation going so that you never run out of things to say. Plus, don't forget to check up on people once in a while. Asking people how they're doing or what they've been up to is a good way to revive a friendship that has fallen flat. What do you think? Do you have trouble making friends? Leave your comment below so we can talk about it. Like I said in the beginning, a solid friendship takes time and commitment to build. You can never force someone to be your friend, but what you can do is display your positive outlook on life to inspire them and teach them that they're capable of making friends as well. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every Tuesday on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you're a huge fan of the channel, why not support me over on Patreon.com? Every single person that donates gets a shout-out video from me and a one-on-one -on -one Skype call where we can talk about anything you want.